Hello everyone, MasterZeon1001 here, and in this video I wanted to do a quick tip about Keep Modifiers. Keep Modifiers is located under the Behavioral Sprocket in the top bar, and when you look at it you'll notice that uh, Keep Bevels on, Keep Solidifies on, Keep Arrays on, Keep Welds on, and Keep Mirrors on, which means that basically these modifiers are kept on generally when an operation is used and um, it's live so you're able to adjust it afterwards for example if I were to just draw a box and I press B and shift it to live this box is still live and I can even go in edit mode and begin making modifications to the mesh itself and still be able to come out in the object mode and still modify it due to its modifiers being live however one to point out is keep spin or keep screw. Keep screw is part of what powers our circle. So by not having it on, it does give you the added benefit of basically drawing a circle and that circle will allow you to grab the face on the outside and do basically what's called a reverse bevel, which is where hops detects that it's a bull shape and flips to normal, allowing you to bevel it differently than normal. But there are some benefits actually to keeping it non-destructive as well. So by toggling this on, that means that whenever you draw a circle, it is now live and this means that we can go under our modifiers and by clicking on the steps and adjusting them we can actually adjust how much this circle is cutting into the mesh still while it's a uh, non-destructive form before we C sharp it or apply it or smart apply it or however we choose to apply our modifiers so the next time I draw a cut this shape is going to disappear and this is because of something called show shape show shape will actually show a shape when after it's been drawn however auto hide will actually hide the shape automatically on the next draw so if you don't want these on they are behaviors that you're able to turn off under behaviors but now whenever I draw you'll see that once I have the right mesh selected that this shape will just stay alive and the right mesh is selected so I'm able to keep making these cutters without having to worry about anything so the next thing I want to discuss was basically if I deselect this and we draw a shape on the surface this shape is now live as well. However, because of custom cutter being the way it is, it plays by its own rules. So it basically auto hit everything. We'll press Alt H to actually bring that back. And let's take a look at screw here. So what I wanna do is actually right click on screw and copy data path. And we'll select the first one and we will just right click, add driver. And under driver, we just want to change this to single property and just select the circle that we just created and just set the data path to the one that we just copied. But we don't want it to be var plus 32, we want it to just be var. So now this object has a driver that connects it to this object, meaning that if I lower the segments, you can see the segments also getting lower on the other objects. So this is a interesting way to kind of control things using control objects. So we'll copy this driver, we'll paste it to render just to uh, really lock things down, and we'll do the same thing with each circle. So. You might notice that this is a slightly tedious process and this is because you know as drivers become more stable we definitely want to integrate them more into our general workflows but at this time um, they just barely got over the cyclic dependency hump that um, kind of made them a little limited but we do experiment with them at various intervals throughout hard ops so let's say i wanted to duplicate this drivers and modifiers and all well for that under the surface drop down you do have the last remaining gizmo, the bc.transformer. And with this active, it brings up a gizmo that if we shift click on any of the axes, we can drag it, keep the modifiers, keep the drivers, keep everything, and also keep it live with this mesh. And what this also means after I turn the gizmo back off, sometimes it gets weird to keep it. Um, now I'm able to also, let's paste the driver right here. But now whenever I lower the steps of this, it lowers the steps for both the render, the viewport, and also allows us to control it non-destructively. So this is one reason why one would want to experiment with keeping screw, just in case you are wanting to work so non-destructively, you even want control over your cutters. But it will get a little bit dicey since screw can tend to um, flip normals on a whim. The next one I want to talk about is keep lattice. So every shape we draw in box cutter is actually powered by lattice. So we'll just draw a circle and it will just stay alive and now we have our lattice. So with this lattice we can grab the bottom four points and do basically anything. We can scale them in basically giving us a quick taper on the circle. Just showing that we have yet to add taper to box cutter but it is in the plans. 
we can skew it and begin messing with the very angle of the circle itself and then select the main shape and just lower to auto smooth to allow these these shape deformations to take place but i just want to go over two of the more obscure keep shape aspects of box cutter and how they could possibly be used in order to help you get more interesting shapes and then of course to get back to your general behavior that you know and love just remember to turn these off whenever you're done and with that we'll wrap up this video and i'll see you guys next time